people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. We got a whole bunch of news to talk about, and because of that, yes, I will be splitting this up into two FNAF news videos. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on kind of the bigger news we've gotten as of lately, and that includes brand new updates on the much-anticipated Help Wanted 2. We got a giant patch notes list for the recently released Ruin DLC for Security Breach. A whole bunch of merchandise news from Hex, as well as some amazing new products from FYE. We got a lot of good stuff to talk about. So if you're excited and if you're brand new to the channel, scroll down, subscribe, because you don't want to miss out on any more FNAF news. Let's kick this video off by talking about those funny yet amazing new products we've gotten recently from FYE. Because the Mad Lads did it, we actually now officially have Fizzy Faz in real life. As you can see from the photo for your entertainment, which is kind of a pop culture kind of store here in the States, they just stocked limited edition Fizzy Faz Roxy Cooler. From the taste tests I've heard from folks here in the community, it's kind of a combination between Coca-Cola and root beer, which is certainly an interesting combination. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for this. FYE is also restocking the gummy pizzas, though now they're accompanied by a whole bunch of security breach imagery, and I was actually able to pick one up, and you bet I'm going to be making a short taste testing this thing. Here's what the back looks like. It's got a whole bunch of adorable artwork of the characters. As you can see, it is also $15. So an absolutely gigantic security breach gummy pizza. You're going to be picking this up, and now let's move on to some more traditional FNAF merchandise. We've got Series 2 of Fig Pins being revealed. As you can see, Series 1 was Security Breach themed, but now we've got characters from the first two FNAF games. Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Foxy, and Bonnie. And then for FNAF 2, we got the toys. Toy Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, Balloon Boy even. The puppet is this series is ultra rare, so surprising there's no mangle, they just had to throw BB in there. So what are your thoughts here on the second series of mystery pins from Fig Pin? Are you going to be picking them up? I'm not even sure if Series 1 release, so we might still have a ways to go before we can get these in our hands. But things we can get our hands on pretty soon is Hex's brand new Puppet Plush, which just released yesterday. This is what the final version of the puppet looks like, as you can see, very similar to the design we got not too, too long ago from Lewis. It's got a wired body for posability, magnetic hands for their gift box accessory, and as you've been seeing from the images, it even glows in the dark. Even the bag it comes in glows in the dark, like what the heck? That's awesome. And if you've bought Hex plushies before, you know they also come with collectible cards, and this is what the puppets looks like. Phenomenal artwork, of course, done by the one, the only stupid butterfly, Ellie, over on Twitter. And speaking of Hex, we got an updated design of their Withered Foxy plushie, releasing alongside the other Withered animatronics. This is what the original Withered Foxy plush looked like, and as you can see, this updated design is absolutely a step in the right direction. No release date on these Withered plushies just yet. I think we're still waiting to see Withered Chica and Freddy, but I'd love to know what your thoughts so far on the Hex Withered plushies as well. Are you going to be picking up that puppet plush? Next up, we got some one-off news on a brand new convention happening in October. Poochicon, which is an anime and gaming convention, which is happening in Pennsylvania. They're going to have a little bit of a FNAF meetup going on there. We got two voice actors from the games and two actresses from the movie making an appearance. First up, we've got Chris McCullough, who voices Foxy, as well as Pigpatch, Vlad, and Adventure Fredbear. The second game's voice actor is Joe Gaudet. He voices Mr. Hippo, Rockstar Foxy, and Funtime Foxy in Ultimate Custom Night. And then actors we have from the movie, well, first up, we've got Piper Rubio, who, as I'm sure we all know now, plays Abby, Mike's younger sister. And then we've also got Joe Fell Love, who's going to be playing the fifth ghost child. The convention's going to be in Tannersville, Pennsylvania, from the 20th and the 22nd of October. So if you do want to meet some of those FNAF personalities, I definitely recommend looking into that convention a bit more. All right, well, now let's move on to some Steel Wool Studios news, because they put out a gigantic blog post dealing a whole bunch of updates on Security Breach, the main game, the Ruin DLC, even Help Wanted 2. The blog post starts starts off with, hey folks, first, on behalf of all the devs here at Steel Wool, thank you for Ruin's overwhelmingly positive reception. It was a blast for us to work on, and seeing so many people enjoying it makes all the effort worth it. Today, we'll give you a peek behind the curtain to give you all up to speed on what the next few months will look like. Our first post-Ruin patch is being released today, which, as of the recording of this video and the release of it, was a couple days ago, so it should definitely be out on all platforms. It's a big one, and all the nitty-gritty details are below. We are also in the final stage of releasing the DLC on the Epic Game Store, which since the release of this blog post, the DLC is now on the Epic Game Store. Since it is also a free DLC, if you buy the main game Security Breach on Epic Games, it'll just download the free DLC right there for you. Going forward, we will be more explicit about which PC stores our games are released on. That's right, because during the lead up to Ruin's release date, they were like, oh yeah, it's going to be on PS4, PS5, and PC. 
and then it only came out on Steam on PC, not Epic Games on PC. So clarifying something like that going forward would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Steel Wolf. Speaking of patches, we also have another security breach base game patch in development with the goal of improving the overall quality and performance on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. We expect that to release in the fall. And if you play security breach on those early generation platforms, you definitely are aware just how buggy and kind of not optimize the game is on them. So it is absolutely amazing to hear that Stuwool is still trying to support those people on those platforms. And like they said, that patch should be out sometime in the fall. Bruin for Xbox is currently in development, and we hope to get that out before the end of the year. So there you go to all the people asking, when is Ruin coming to the Xbox? Well, it's going to be later this year. We will let you know as soon as we have a confirmed date. The Nintendo Switch port of Ruin has not kicked off, and we have no estimated time of arrival for it just yet. We know that's not the best news for Switch players, but we'd like y'all to know where we're at for the sake of transparency. There you go to all the people asking when is Ruin coming to the Switch. We don't know yet. It's probably going to be a while since they haven't even started development yet. But now moving on to some Help Wanted 2 news, they say big exciting news. We have our own massive booth at PAX West this year. We will have some giveaways, a couple of special guests, and most notably a work in progress demo of Help Wanted 2. Obviously, FNAF has a lot going on this year and we'll absolutely have more to share soon. Stay Stay tuned. Thank you, Ray McCaffrey. And then they go on to list all of the patch notes for Ruin as well as the main game security breach, which I'm not going to go through all those patch notes. I apologize. I'll leave the post link down below if you want to go read them. Though something I should point out because people were freaking out on Twitter, they do officially call the Mimic the Mimic. So to all those Mimic naysayers out there, unfortunately for you, it's going to be a Mimic sweep. Well, actually, that's not where the Help Wanted 2 news ends because Steel Wolves tweeted out a few pictures of the FNAF booth at PAX West. In this first picture, we can see the gigantic logo for Five Nights at Freddy's, sporting that iconic checkerboard white and black pattern, Behind the wall, we can of course see the Steel Wool Studios logo, and interestingly enough, we can even make out the logo for Blumhouse's FNAF movie, which has led a lot of people to assume maybe we're gonna get a new teaser, a new poster, a new trailer for the film at this convention. If you ask me, I personally just think it's there for advertising reasons. It would be cool if maybe we got a few brand new clips from the film, maybe even a new poster, I'd like that one. But personally, I don't have high hopes we're gonna get something massive like a new trailer, though you know, if I'm wrong, I wouldn't be mad. But moving on now to the second image, this is the official Help Wanted 2 booth at the FNAF booth. PAX doesn't even start until the first week of September, so they still have a few days to prepare. But a lot of people are pointing out on that monitor, we can see what appears to be the Fun With Plush Trap level from the very first Help Wanted game. Now this one image has kind of split the fan base. One half thinks, oh, they're just testing the setup using the first game. And the other half, the community is saying we're getting remastered levels from the first game in the sequel, which personally, I think would be a little disappointing. I don't think we need remasters from the first Help Wanted game. I mean, especially with fun with Plush Trap, that was a pretty straightforward level. I don't see how they could spice it up anymore, you know? But I would love to know what are your thoughts here on this first look at technically Help Wanted 2, really. Something else that was interesting is that Joe Gaudet, who we mentioned earlier, is the voice actor for Mr. Hippo, Rockstar Foxy, Funtime Foxy. He commented on Stu Wool's Instagram post saying, can't wait to work with you all again. It's been too long. Now, a lot of people, including myself, were like, oh, He's saying he can't wait to work with them again on Help Wanted 2. Well, then Joe comes out and says, you're reading too much into this. And I'm like, brother, you said you can't wait to work with them again. So I don't know if this is Joe trying to cover up his comment or maybe he just worded it weirdly in the reply. There was a serious lack of voices for the characters in the first Help Wanted game, which I know is a bit divisive. Some people think it gives the characters too much personality. But personally, if I get a Mr. Hippo monologue in VR, I will be a happy man. The PAX West convention starts in less than one week, so very, very soon, we will be getting our first look at Help Wanted 2. And I'd love to know in the comments what levels do you want to see in the sequel to FNAF VR. And that's gonna do it for this FNAF News video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon for the sequel to FNAF News. Goodbye.